Hey guys, Amber from Tocito Homestead. So, today, we're going to milk our cow. I'm going to show y'all how we milk the cow. I have got a sack here with um, my half gallon mason jar. I milk into a half gallon mason jar. Um, and then I have a little bowl with some warm soapy water and a washcloth. That is to clean her udder and teats off before we start milking. Um, I milk directly into <laughs> I milk directly into my mason jar. Then I filter it into a, a well this mason jar is clean also, but I filter it into another clean sanitized mason jar. And to clean and sanitize my jars, I clean them in hot soapy dish water. Um, scrub them down real good, make sure they're really good and clean. And then I put them into the oven, uh, 250 degrees, for about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, just long enough for them to get good and hot. And then I leave them on the counter for a little bit to cool off. I, put, I of course put the lids on them, but I, I leave the lids cracked where the heat can get out and it doesn't keep the heat in the jar. I feel like, I don't know, it'll help them cool off better if the lid's not sealed tight on there. I let them sit and cool off. Then I take them to go and milk. Well, I take one of them to go milk. I leave one in the house for my filtering. Um, and then I'll normally have a different jar that already has milk in it in my refrigerator. Um, after I filter it, I chill my milk for an hour in the freezer, two hours in the fridge, and then that's when we can either drink it directly from that jar or I transfer it into my bigger jar that I keep in my fridge all the time. But anyway, I'll explain all that as we go, as we get to that uh, step in the process. So let's go get Lucy, get her tied up, get her a bucket of feed, and let's get to milking. All right, here's my soapy rag. And I'm gonna just wipe down the udder and teats. It's just a warm water Dawn dishwashing liquid soapy rag. And gotta make sure we get all the nastiness off there. Clean it up real good. All right, that looks good. All right, so she's happy, she's got feed going. I'm gonna glove up, and I've got a half gallon mason jar here, ready, sanitizing, waiting on me. So always, when you're milking, you always squeeze out the first milk first. Don't ever put that in your jar because there's, there's possibly germs, dirt, bacteria, anything that has set up in that teat throughout the day and overnight or whenever. So always milk out your first milk onto the ground first. So I'm gonna do that now. Just a few squirts, that's all you need. I'm gonna do that to the front and the back teeth. Front and the back teeth, got them milked out. And let's get milking. I tap that udder like that, because the babies do that when they drink. And that actually brings more milk down. You that chicken? Eventually I do want I do want an automatic milker, but that's money that I don't want to spend right now for one cow. I figure milking out half a gallon a day is not not so bad by hand. I use mason jars because it seems 
sounds like the smaller the opening, the less likely you're going to get a lot of dirt and hairs or bacteria in there. ever milked a cow or if you're a regular cow milker answer me this question how many times have you gotten smacked in the face with the tail because for me it's a lot if y'all have um, solutions to that problem please drop them in the comments below I get tail whipped a lot. Gonna move over to the other side. I'm halfway. All right, all done. She made a disaster of everything. <laughs> one of those, one of those milking sessions. Normally all is well, everything goes great. Um, in a couple months of us milking her, she's only kicked my jar over one time and thankfully it was at the beginning of the milk session. So, um, I didn't lose much milk. I just lost a jar. I mean, she didn't break it, but she got it dirty and I couldn't use that jar, so I had to get another jar. Luckily, I had an extra out here, but um, today was one of those days. I didn't catch it on camera because she kept scooting away from the camera. Um, so, we got out of the frame, but when she starts moving like that, I know she's getting tired of, um, of milking. So today was one of those days she was done. I uh, had been long enough and the flies are getting her legs. Um, so that's part of the problem too. So um, she kicked over my milk crate and then she pooped on it. So I was done trying. So I didn't quite get um, a full half gallon. I got a little under a half gallon, which is fine. We have, uh, we have plenty of milk in the fridge. So we'll add this to it. But yeah, she she was done and then she pooped on my milk crate. So that was the end of that. I'm not even fighting it anymore. I'm not even gonna try anymore. That's just part of it. And it just happened to be the day I decided to video. This is the, only the second time ever in her milking that she has kicked over anything. Um, and stopped me short of my, in my milking. Well, she kicked my jar one time, but I kept milking with a different jar, so that day was fine. But there was one day where um, 
she just wouldn't sit still. She was very antsy. That was at the beginning of us milking her, um, and she just wasn't having it. So I didn't give very much milk at all that day, and I gave up. I got mad and gave up. I was like, I'm done with this. I'm not milking anymore until I get a milk stanchion or stand and a, an electric pump. <laughs> Well, I gave it a few days, cooled off. I was like, okay, I don't want to buy milk from the store anymore, so I'm going to have to milk her, and we don't have time to build a stanchion right now, so I kept milking, and things were fine. She's only messed me up a couple times, um, so today was one of those days, and that's just how it goes, and it's, uh, of course, it's going to be on a day that I'm videoing. Oh, well, that's just how it works. That's life. So I'm going to take this milk in, I'm going to get it filtered, I'm going to chill it in the freezer for an hour, and then in the refrigerator for a couple hours, and then it'll be ready to drink. And you probably heard the, all the mooing while I was milking. Yeah, that was just Ethel and JT wanting their mama. Um, we locked the babies in the barn overnight. So her milk can build up overnight and then we milk in the morning and then we let them out of the barn after we're done milking and let them have their mama back. I'll show you. I just let her come back in and I let them out of the stall and they are thirsty. See how she's bumping? See how they're bumping? That brings more milk down. And I did not milk her empty. I don't take all of her milk. I could probably get at least a gallon of milking from her um, but I don't I only get a half gallon because it's plenty of milk for us and I leave milk for the babies so when they wean which should be pretty soon in the next month I'm gonna start weaning them um, they've been nursing they're six they're about six months old now I know JT is and Ethel's almost there um, so pretty soon they're gonna they're gonna wean and um, I can get more milk if I want to or I could milk twice a day if I wanted to. All right, so I'm gonna take this in. I'm gonna filter it, chill it in the freezer, chill it in the fridge, and then we can drink it. We'll have it for breakfast tomorrow. Here is today's milk. It is not quite a full half gallon. Normally I have it at least up to that line or even up, up here, or sometimes I use two different jars. Um, this did not get filled up because Lucy was being a brat and she kicked my milk crate over and then she pooped on it. So this is all the milk we got. I stopped and gave up after that happened. All right, so I've got a cheesecloth. I've got it folded twice okay so I have it doubled and then doubled again so it's basically folded into four layers it's gonna filter through four layers um, it's clean jars clean and sanitized um, that's also a half gallon jar and I'm just gonna filter it into here and cover it with the lid put it in the freezer for an hour and the refrigerator for two hours and it's ready to drink so so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and filter. When I'm done filtering, I'll show you what comes out. You filter it slow and easy. Make sure you catch all the dirt or hairs or anything that comes out of comes onto the filter out of the milk. And um, I'll show you. There's not much, but there are little specks of dirt. Um, you're gonna have that with milking milking any animal. You're gonna get hairs or dirt or something in your milk. That's very very normal. Um, doesn't mean your milk is bad just means you need to filter it and you need that chilling part of the process to kill any bacteria that quite possibly could be in there um, so here is what came out of my milk 
can see just the little specks of dirt here, here. I mean, just little tiny specks of dirt that um, filters out of here. Um, and I mean, that's, but that's it. That's not very much. And you can get dirt, um, I mean, just flying in the air, uh, coming off your cow. When she swings her tail, it can go into your milk. Um, also, hairs can get in there. I don't see any hairs today, but I have had a hair or two in, um, in my filter after I filtered my milk. Um, that's not uncommon. That's very normal, and that's not a bad thing. That's going to happen with any milking process. Maybe I get, okay, let me say, milking by hand, okay? Um, if you have a, an electric pump, and you're extremely quick and extremely careful with your pump and your equipment um, to get it on the teat fast. I mean, even still, then you can still get little tiny specks of stuff in your milk. Um, but it, you will have less if you have an electric system, a uh, pump system um, that covers your teat and it's not like an open jar or bucket or bowl or whatever. So. But that's why I use the mason jars because the opening is smaller and less stuff does get in. So, um, as whereas if I used a big old bucket or a big bowl or pan, um, uh, it would be a bigger opening and more chances of more hairs and dirt and things to get in. It actually flies too could get in if you have a bigger area. Um, I've not ever once had a fly land on my jar um, or in my jar, especially because the opening is so small so um, but I guess that could happen too I don't really know um, I've never had flies get in my milk ever so um, so anyway that's that um, I'm gonna get it in the fridge for an hour um, then in or in the freezer um, excuse me in the freezer for an hour and then in the refrigerator for two hours that's just my recommendation I don't know that that's like a a required thing I, I know you should chill it for a certain amount of time but my time is one hour in the freezer two hours in the fridge and then you can drink it um, just to make sure it's fully chilled all the way through um, kill any bacteria that could be in there um, and yeah so uh, that's it. That's how we do it. That's how we milk here on Tocito Homestead. Alright, going in the freezer for one hour. I'm going to set my timer and then into the refrigerator after that. Alright, I'm going to set the timer for one hour. Alright, and there we go. Timer's going for one hour. And when that goes off, we put it in the refrigerator for two hours, and then it's time to drink. Okay, so, <laughs> I use my handy dandy old gallon pickle jar for my milk in the fridge. Um, I'll use it for a, a few days, I guess, and then um, I'll let it run out of milk. I'll use other jars in there that have been sanitized and cleaned and let this one run out of milk and I will clean it and re-sanitize it um, and then use it again. So I don't let it stay in the fridge very long, probably no more than three or four days. I will, um, I will let it run out of milk and um, wash it real good with hot dish soap water of course and then I put it in my, in my oven for at 250 degrees for about 20 minutes to make sure it's good heated up and good and uh, sanitized so because raw milk your jar is gonna get dirty it's gonna get um, milk like stuck on the inside of the jar and stuck on the lid it's gonna it's gonna get dirty like crusty milk like dried um, so I don't like that and I think that invites bacteria easier and so 
I like to clean and sanitize my milk jar that stays in my fridge every few days. So just, that's just me. I don't even, I don't know if, if everybody does that or uh, if that's a recommended thing. Uh, it just makes me feel better. So that's how I do it. <laughs> My taste tester here is going to taste some raw, fresh cow's milk. Tell you what he thinks. Let's go. <laughs> you going to drink all of it? <laughs> okay, what do you think? Okay, he's going to drink it all. Okay. Yep, I think he likes it. <laughs> okay, what you think? It's good. Is it good? You got a milk mustache. You got a Lucy milk mustache. Lucy milk mustache. <laughs> what does it taste like? It tastes like regular milk. It does, doesn't it? Awesome. Tastes like regular milk. Thank you. Give me five. Thanks for being my awesome little te taste tester. Appreciate it. <laughs> you did drink two glasses. <laughs> Yum. All right, so one hour is up. We take the milk out of the freezer and put it into the refrigerator. Now. All right, so there it goes in the fridge and it will stay in here for two hours before we drink. So in two hours, um, I will transfer it into my other jar that I keep in the fridge all the time, um, just to save on space. I just put it into my one jar. So that's what I'll do in two hours. We've already taste tested yesterday's milk, so I'm not gonna go through that, um, but that's it. That's that's how we do this. Thank y'all for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sort supporting our channel. We appreciate y'all so much. Look, wait, wait, wait. This one's gonna get him peanut butter and banana sandwich now. Wait, wait, I'm telling him to like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. There you go. You heard it from the man himself. <laughs> oh, there you are. There you are. <laughs> this camera. I have a new video camera that I'm using now for my videos and I it's it's like mirrored and everything's backwards so I, I get confused on which way to move the camera. Um yeah, so I still haven't got it down real real good. So if you see me like way over here, that's and or doing like this number a lot, it, that's why. It's because I'm trying to figure out my camera still. So We'll get there, huh? Yep. 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 All right. Thank y'all. We appreciate you. Take care. God bless. We'll see you in the next one. Hmm.